we have, let's start underlying stuff. We have a 0 0.0182 gram sample of an unknown substance. It was dissolved in 2.135 grams of benzene. The molality of this solution was 0.0698 M. What is the molecular mass of the unknown substance? Jose, we've got all these equations, right? Do any of them have molecular mass in them? No, it doesn't, right? So, I mean, looks like they're talking about freezing point depression or something, but none of them have molar mass in it. So, but they're asking for molar mass. So that's why I think this is such a hard question. I strongly suggest starting out with what they want you to know. Molar mass or molecular weight, Lewis, what were the units all the time? Grams, grams over, it's grams per, oh, so that is the unit. Uh, grams of what over moles of what? Really, Grace, it's grams of, yeah, the grams of the substance over the moles of the substance. So in this case, we're asked, so it would be the grams of the unknown divided by the moles of the unknown. They call it the sample, right? You see that? They call it the sample. So let's just call it grams of sample all over moles of sample. And what I want you to kind of see is it doesn't matter if it's density, molar mass, whatever, it's an equation. Molar mass is a grams of sample divided by the moles of sample. And you can, get, you can get molar mass. In fact, we're halfway there. They gave us one of these already, Sochi. Which one did they give us? The grams of the sample. What's the number? 0 0.0182. They already gave us that part. They already gave it to us. We just have to figure out what the moles of sample are. Okay, Crystal. Question's kind of changed now. Well, we need to find the moles of the sample. We'll divide it into 0 0.0182, and then we're done. We'll have molar mass, grams per mole. How, we, how are we going to get the moles of the sample? Okay, she's talking about this guy. Yeah. Well, they don't give us delta TF, though. Oh, they, no, they didn't, did they? They didn't give us delta TF. And another hint is TF, moles of substance isn't even in there. So this isn't going to help us. In fact, we may not even need this. Oh, there it is. If you use the molality equation, right? Because don't we know what the little CM is? What's the little CM going to equal? Yeah, that's what, 0 0.0698. They told us what it was. Now, Grace, it's the moles of, now you can say solute, but I guess, again, it's better to write something else. Right, moles of, to be consistent, moles of sample, right? Since we're calling our unknown a sample, so it would be moles of sample all over kilograms of 
Rebecca, what would you say? Kilo now, don't write solvent. Again, it doesn't help as much. Kilograms of benzene. Kilograms of benzene. Now, it's the exact same thing as the molar mass equation, right? We have CM equals moles of sample over kilograms of benzene. You know two things, you solve for the third, right? We're after moles of sample. So that means somewhere they gave us CM, somewhere they must have told us kilograms of benzene. Jessica, what do you, how are you going to figure it out? Where is it? It has to be there somewhere. The kilograms of benzene. We're going to solve for the moles of sample. Yeah, to give us the grams of it. In fact, I think, didn't we ask you that last time? She had to convert grams into ben, grams into kilograms. Move it over three places. Point oh oh two one three five kilograms. Okay. So what we really have is point oh six nine eight equals our moles all over point oh oh two one three five. Since everything's in the right units, I just left them out. Kathleen, how are you going to solve for the moles of sample there? She says multiply. You see, she's exactly right. See why? It's that whole diagonal idea there. You got to move the point oh two one three five to the other side. Okay. Point oh oh six nine eight times point three five. I get about one point four nine to ten negative five. That, what did you get? Oh, let me write down what you got. Yeah, 1.49 what? Like 10 to the negative 4. Okay, now, we're, now we can plug that number all the way back in up here. And we should get our molar mass. Right? 1.49 times 10 to the negative 4. What did you get? Did they get an answer? About 122? 